All right. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thou seed may live. I want to start off by saying, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh Ba Shimi Yahweh Shai. Now that's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word is sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this lesson is going to be entitled Life or Death. Life or Death. Because life is truly our Heavenly Father and His Son, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. And death represents the world. Okay? So, this is Deuteronomy chapter 30 and 19. I have called heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death. So the heavenly father, which he have chosen his people, which are the Israelites, he have chosen them ways in which they should live. He have given them commandments and laws. Okay. And he said he set before you life and death. Because if you disobey, then that's death. That's the world. And if you obey, then that's life. All right. Which is really the promise of salvation and the kingdom of heaven, which is our kingdom is the everlasting kingdom, which is yet to come. Okay. It says that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. You know, so here it is, you know, with Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, it's truly blessings. But with the world, it's truly what? The cursing, man. Okay? And the most high do, the most high has like it. The most high has curses upon us because we did sin against the Heavenly Father. And this is why we in a condition and a captivity under Esau today. Alright? So it says, Therefore, choose life that both thou and thou seed may live. Alright, because here it is, you believe in the Lord, you know. And you choose the Lord before this world Then guess what? There's a possibility The Lord can deliver your lineage He can keep protect, protection the, char the angels having a charge over what? Your lineage, your seed, man Your family So it's, a be it's a better to choose life Than to choose death See, we have two thirds Which the Lord rejected And the Lord is going to bring a grievous death upon Because of their wickedness Alright, and they're disobedient we have them as an example of the world. You got your Jay-Z's, all right? You got your Beyonce's, you know? You got all these celebrities today in which they, they have chosen the world and to receive their constellation, their reward. You know, fame, money, whatever it is that they seek for. But it's all vanity. Even as Solomon said, under the sun, everything is vanity because you don't take it when you leave, all right? But us of the whole four elect, we have Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We have the true riches of the world. And that's the knowledge, all right? Which the scriptures say, the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. So we have what it takes to be delivered from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai if the Lord's willing, if you are the elect. That's better than having riches and, and, and fame today, all right? All that is going to come to an end. And it's going to be shame upon them. Compared to the, the ones that are the elect that be delivered in the end, all right, in the, in the world to come, all right, there's going to be a different level of Israelites. You're going to have the elite level, which are the elect, and then you're going to have the regular citizens, which are just the Israelites who the Lord has chosen, all right, as his people. Okay, so now this is Romans 6 and 23 for the wages of sin is death. So every time when you commit sin, you're closer to death. Now, we can't, let me say this, we're not perfect today because obviously we're in this sinful flesh. You know, we can't keep all the laws, all right? So therefore, we're guilty of the law. But this is the reason why the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, sent us His begotten Son, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai finished His mission 
by giving up his body as a living sacrifice first for his sins and then ours all right so now we have what grace now we have the, the time where we can rehearse the righteous acts meaning practice and hopefully if the lord is, is pleasing then what he will deliver us man because why we chose life all right it says for the wages of sin is death and that's the world because mainly everything that jake does today is according to esau's philosophy you know esau you know he puts out these uh ideologies these so-called different lifestyles and ways of life how you should live and how you should think freely as if there's no power there's no god above us and jake swallow it up they eat it up man you know so that's the what hey well sin is the transgressions of the most high or uh, most high's laws okay that's the definition of sin so jake is willingly to go against the most high's laws and not rehearse but to be what of the world so it says but the gift of yahweh is eternal life and that gift represents faith because yahweh shai did say uh shall he find faith on the earth because who is truly going to have faith the elect of yahweh bashim yahweh shai the israelites all right it says but the gift of the most high is eternal life through yahweh shai mashiach our lord so the gift that we was given is through Yahweh Shai, who he set up over us to be our what? Lord and Savior, man. Okay, Yahweh Shai actually means he deliverer, he savior. Okay. So through him, we have the gift of faith and the gift of salvation, which is life. Alright, so this is John 3:16. It says, For mo for, for Yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that what that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life now you have the christians so-called christians all right christianity they take this scripture and they think that the lord is talking about um all of the world now nah, he's talking about the world of israel all right and now uh, let me do something real quick let me look up something real quick because um because when you read the scriptures you gotta look up the words you gotta get into the strong concordance of what you of what a word is or to understand the concept and the meaning all right so um let me get this real quick right now when it says John 3.16, it says, For Yahweh so loved the world. Now, when you go into that word world, that word world is Greek word cosmos. Cosmos. Alright. Which represents which represents a um a, 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 a world in itself. Okay. Like you may have the fish world, you know. Not talking about the entire world, it's talking about the world within itself. You may have the animal world, all right. The Lord is talking about the world of Israel, all right. All right, so like it. Um, one, one more, one more thing, one more thing. Right, a separate society. Yeah, I was looking for that word. Cosmos actually means a separate society. And the Israelites are what? Separate from the other nations. Okay? When we keep our laws of the Most High, in which these Edomites then stole today, they're calling themselves the Jewish. When they're not, they're imposters. All right? They're stolen our identity. But at the time when we were, the, when we were walking and living under the laws of the Most High, we were what a separate society among uh, amongst all the rest of the other nations we didn't live according to how they live we had our own customs all right and our laws and our commandments of yahweh bashim shai so that word world here in john 3 16 goes to the greek word 
cosmos cosmos all right so it says it says um for yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoso believeth in him should not perish but have eternal but have everlasting life so life gives us what everlasting life and death i have to say again is the world all right so the scriptures say choose life all right so I'm going to jump to my next scripture. This is uh, Genesis 2 and 17. It says, But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. All right. And the, and the tree of knowledge represent good and evil. Okay. It wasn't a um a tree with an apple on there and he bit it and all of a sudden he his eyes was open. No, it was talking about you know good and evil hey matter of fact the the uh cell phones you know the internet you can either use it for what good or you can use it for evil all right it's kind of similar to uh what's they call it the, the urine and the therm all right now it says but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it for in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die so when you go out here and you get into these false philosophies, these religions, and you go do the things of this of, of the world, you know these false philosophies of the world, then guess what? You're gonna die by the world, man. All right. Now this is my last precept, Second Peter two and four. For if Yahweh spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, and guess what? That's talking about this flesh. It says, For if the Most High spared not the angels, which are us, that sinned, okay, but cast them down into hell and delivered them into the chains of darkness. Now, these are the chains of darkness. The only way we can leave out of this flesh unless you die. All right? The Most High requires your spirit and he takes it back up to him in the fourth dimension. All right? So we're set in prison in this flesh. It says to be reserved unto judgment. So that's what happens, man. When you're in the flesh, you're either going to have life or you're going to have death. And judgment is going to be a grievous death. This is why the Lord sent, you know, sent us back into the earth. All right. Either for what? Life or death, man. Which is representing Yahweh's Mashapat, the Lord's judgment, man. And um, one more scripture, Ephesians 1 and 4. According as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world That we should be holy and without blame before him in love So the Lord does the choosing And he have chosen the elect to be for him as the foundation of the world Okay, I'm going to read again According as he have chosen us And uh, chosen us in him before the foundations of the world so before everything was created, the Most High created what? Yahweh Shai first, who the world called Jesus Christ, and he created the elect behind, behind Yahweh Shai. All right? It says that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, man. All right? So, you know, it's either life or death. And the Lord have given life. He's, he's going to give life unto the elect and death unto the world. You know, so with that, I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.